So that was Chukasoba Tatami. I'm here with Cody from Ramen Guide, uh, Japan.com, and we just had some great stamina ramen. Um, a bowl that is um, everything that you could want from, you know, a bowl that should give you a lot of stamina. Very satisfying on the heavy side, spiciness, um, very enjoyable. Lots of um, onion top, very, very good. So what was your impression? Yeah, I thought it was a really good solid bowl. Um, I quite enjoyed um, the spice level, like the fact that you could choose what spiciness that you want. I went with the spiciest, which didn't allow me to drink the soup, but um, yeah, it's really spicy, really good. So this place is really close to what you can get at Stamina Ramen Suzuki. I made a video about that place uh, a little bit before. And uh, there are some differences here, but the, the flavor profile is definitely in the same direction. Um, the differences, I would say the main differences are the soup um, is definitely a little bit on the lighter side, not as heavy, not as yeah, in your face. And um, the other difference uh, are the noodles, which are, I think, a little bit thinner, a little bit... Um, it's still pretty thick, but they just don't use the thick Jiro noodles right. that, <laughs> exactly. that um, Suzuki uses. Exactly. So um, you're missing a, a couple of, let's say, Jiro components here and uh, have the same concept but more a little bit in the chukasoba direction but still very very satisfying um, a very punching bowl um, you get a lot of onions a lot of um, garlic chives on top you get a little bit of motsu what is that in, in, in english I awful. awful all right and uh, like very gelatinous fatty uh, you get some very nice chashu on top there's really nothing to um, want after uh, you get that bowl and as he said there's like two options there's uh, one that is non-spicy so you don't have to go for a spicy one that would i imagine would be more like a taste like a goulash or like a gravy um and then you got the spicy one which definitely yeah turns Ooh, up the heat a little <laughs> yeah if you want to go for a spicy bowl and you maybe you like nakamoto then you should give this place a try um they interestingly the spice levels they start with the lowest one is five mm -hmm. i don't know why they start with the high numbers and then it goes down to one which is the spiciest one i, I imagine that is uh, comparable to um a um a ten of nakamoto yeah, it was pretty spicy um it's not it's definitely not for um anyone that isn't particularly um <laughs> strong with spicy food um, thankfully, I eat at like Nakamoto often enough where 
I'm pretty good with this spice, but yeah, um, definitely recommend it if you're a spice lover. Um, really good, solid, um, yeah, solid 8 out of 10 for me. 8 out of 10? I think I would go in the same direction, 8 out of 10. Definitely a good recommendation uh, for the area if you like this particular style. I think there's not too many around here which have like a similar style or similar flavor. So um, for some people it could be probably a little bit higher. Um, if you like this particular style, if you like Suzuki, then this one, um, you have to try this one as well. And um, yeah, I think that's all. Thanks for watching. Check out ramenguidejapan.com, his uh, website, Instagram and YouTube channel. And as always, thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one.